Today you are going to learn the difference between ELCB and RCCB. You know, nowadays we will not get ELCB on the market because it is outdated. After this video, you will get what is the reason behind this. Here we have a load, it is connected through an ELCB. If we switch on this load, then the current will flow up to the load. Okay, and the return current will pass us through this neutral. Okay. So on the normal condition, no any current will pass us through this earth. You know that at our house, we earthed this one. Okay. But in any situation, if the face touches this body of this load, then at that time, if you have a sound earth connection, then the current will go through this earth. At that time, you can see a coil over here. Okay. So this current will actuate this coil and this coil will become an electromagnet and it will pull these two contacts over here and it will break and the power supply will be cut and this load will not get power supply. There are some problems related with this ELCB. Suppose on your house your earth connection is broken or your earth bit loses the property of a good earthing. At that time, even this face touches this body, certain current will not go through this earth. At that time, this coil will not get actuated and it could not cut the power supply. At that time, what will happen if anybody touches this body part of this load, he will get nasty shock. Another problem is, if a person touches the face, then at that time, the face current will go to the earth, to the person's body. At this time also, the leakage current will not pass through this way and this coil will not get actuated and the power supply will not cut and this person will die. That means in any of these two situations, the ELCB will not give you the protection. That is why I told you ELCB is outdated. Now I am going to tell you what is the importance of RCCB. When we switch on this load, at that time the phase current will pass through this path and the return current will go through the neutral. You know, the phase current will be equal to the neutral current. This RCCB will sense that one. If any unmatch detected by this RCCB regarding the phase and this neutral current, at that time the RCCB will trip. Here the ELCB must need an earth pole. But here the RCCB actually does not need an earth pole over here. But we can connect the earth to the load without touching this RCCB. Suppose this face touches the body part of this load. At that time the leakage current will go through this way to the earth. At that time what will happen is the face current that comes to this load will not go through the neutral. At that time the RCCB will sense that and it will trip. Another condition is if a person touches the face then at that time through his body the current passes to the earth. At this condition also the equal current comes to this load will not pass through this neutral and the RCCB will sense that and it will trip the circuit and it protects this person. And you know, for the tripping of this RCCB, the leakage current must be equal to the rating of this RCCB. Suppose the rating of this RCCB is 30 milliampere and only the leakage current here is 10 milliampere, then here it is very low than this rating. At this time, the RCCB will not trip. Instead of this 10 milliampere, if it is 30 milliampere or more than this 30 milliampere, then this RCCB will trip. You know, in our homes, we usually use this 30 milliampere. I hope you understood this topic. If so, please like this and and give me your valuable comments. If you want to get deep information like this, please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.